Costa, what's it like to be back in the Wellington Phoenix, headed that first competitive outing back? Yeah, it's been great to be back. Uh, it's been a tough couple of weeks back in training. The boys have been put through their paces a little bit. Obviously, with the, the game coming up in mind, we needed to get sharp pretty quickly, but it's been great to get back and the, the boys are excited to get started. It's been pretty miserable, to say the least, around the whole country, but particularly here in Wellington as well. Is that preparing you well, you think, for, for Tasmania? Yeah, I think it's going to be even colder there. Maybe we won't bring the wind with us, but um, no, I actually don't think it's been too bad. I was expecting worse, so uh, no, I think conditions might be similar, so yeah, it might actually help us. What does the FFA Cup and the Australia Cup mean to you? Yeah, I mean, it's a good competition. I think it's a good way to, you know, potentially earn some silverware early in the season. You know, we need to take it seriously. Uh, and I think it's a good confidence booster if you do go on a little bit of a run. Um, you know, we need to work on a few things and it's a, it's a good chance to get some good opposition under our belts too early on. Did you enjoy going to these different kind of places like we are now going to Devonport? Yeah, I think uh, I think it's good for the game, you know. Uh, you know, playing teams from, you know, lower leagues, as they say, uh, gives them a good opportunity, good exposure as well. So I think overall it's a good competition. And I think, you know, we've got the, obviously the Chatham Cup here, but it would be good to have something similar uh, over here as well. And how important is it to get the result on Wednesday night, knowing that we need these pre-season hit-outs before the season proper? Yeah, exactly that. You know, it's important. So then we can sort of prepare our pre-season a bit better. We'll know maybe what it looks like a little bit more if we win this game and then lead on to the next one and we can start planning from there. Uh, you know, we, we need to get as many quality games in as we can and I think Goofy's made no secret about that. So, you know, beside the fact that we want to win anyway to get as, as deep into the competition as we want, uh, yeah, we need to get those games in. How have you settled in as far as playing you know, up front and under Goofy's system? Yeah, no, it's been good. Uh, I think... You know, obviously playing in a similar sort of formation for the last few years has helped. Um, we do things a little bit differently here. We, we can set up a couple of different ways, which is good. Um, I can see, you know, depending on how the game's going, we've got a few ways that we want to press or, or not press and start from different sort of blocks. So uh, I'm really enjoying it. Good bunch of boys, and I think uh, we're putting a good group together here. How much has the club changed or has it changed since you were last year? Yeah, I mean, a couple of the young boys, the last time I was here, are now senior players and sort of leaders in the group. So I think that's the biggest change. Um, lots of young boys coming through, which is good. Um, and obviously we've got, a, I think, a good mix of young and experienced and sort of in between as well. So, um, you know, the coaching staff has, has changed too. Gilly's still here. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's uh, still a really good uh, close-knit group. Bojadar's now been with the squad for, for a week. How's he settled in and what, what do you make of him as a player? Yeah, I think he's settled in well. I think, you know, obviously coming a long way from him only being here for a week or so is probably pretty tough. Um, he seems a, a good lad and uh, he's had a few good touches out on the training pitch when he hasn't been just running, uh, catching up to fitness. You can see he's got quality. So, uh, and his English isn't uh, isn't too bad either. I, I got told he didn't really speak English, but he un understands quite a lot. So, uh, yeah, we just need to get him as fit as possible as as quickly as we can and see what he can do. So maybe we can't expect too much from him on Wednesday night then? Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I think he, he played a few minutes in our little hit out there. Um, I think it's it's a probably a good time to be smart as well. We want to obviously play our best team or whoever we can, uh, but we need to be smart about it too. And there's plenty of time to see him in action, I think. And you feel like you've had enough of a break, given you had a pretty short turnaround between all whites and then getting back into it? Yeah, I mean, uh, I had a few weeks, you know, I had another week extra from the other boys, me and the other all whites. So it was a good time to freshen up. I obviously had the move um, in that time, so it didn't feel like a break at times, but I, I feel fresh. And uh, like I said, we've been working hard, so I feel like you know, you could probably get a good, uh, you know, almost 90 minutes out of me probably on Wednesday. And the draws out now as well for, for the A-League season that make it all a bit more real. They're going to be back at the stadium this season. Yeah, I think it's great. And I think um, just looking at the times, well, I think the, the three o'clock games are really good too, obviously, with the my two young ones. Uh, it's not sort of breaking them out and getting cranky by the end of the game. So I, I think it's really good. Um, some obviously exciting fixtures there too. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it sort of makes it feel like you said real and, and like it's, it's coming closer and closer. Fantastic. All the best in Tasmania. Perfect. Thank you.